This is my first proper car camping adventure and I'm so excited for it. Uh, if you didn't see the last video, I had a little experiment in car camping. It was my first night away. I will link the video down below. I loved it and so that was last week and this week I've decided to go for a few more nights. I'm not entirely sure exactly what I am doing. I do have a commitment back at home in about was it four days, three days, I'm not entirely sure. But by the way, the commitment is taking Stephen on his first ever flying lesson experience thing. So that's pretty exciting. But yeah, I haven't got a massive plan. So far, I got up this morning, I stayed at home last night, got up this morning, I went to the gym, had a shower so I could wash my hair, get all clean and fresh for the next couple of days. And I've driven for about an hour and a half or so and I am currently in Flint in North Wales. I think me and Stephen may have been here in the past, but I'm just, right now I'm sat, Flint Castle is opposite me. I've just been for a little walk around Flint Castle. The weather, unfortunately, is naff. Uh, <laughs> it has been pouring down with rain my whole drive. The rain has lit up now, so that's quite nice. I'm in Wales. I'm just going to kind of drive along the north border. I think my plan is to head over to Anglesey. I'm not quite sure. We'll just see what comes up along the way. Oh, I just had a lovely drive along the north coast of Wales. The sea was just to this side the whole way. I decided not to stop in the end and just head straight over towards Anglesey. I'm almost in Anglesey. I'm in Bangor. I have just stopped at the Tesco in Bangor because I need to charge my car. This is going to be a big bit of a problem with this car camping thing. My car is electric. It's a pain. We'll just have to go with it. I'm charging the car up for a little bit whilst I eat my breakfast. It's about half past ten and I'm getting a little bit hungry. Mm. Oh, that's nice. All right, charging done. Not much charging because it was a slow charger, but <clears throat> a little bit of charging got done. It's time to go. Let's head to Anglesey. That was Britannia Bridge. Whoa. We're at the Manai Bridge viewpoint now. Let me show you. There's Manai Bridge. Check out this viewpoint. Also, check out that house. What is going on? That's the bridge we just went across. There's this little like lay-by here where you can stop and pull over. I just don't understand that house. Look at it. I was just talking to a lovely local man there at the viewpoint and he's recommended coming down this road. I've just driven like four minutes up the path. He was explaining how it's a really high tide at the moment and so that's why the house is looking crazy just in the middle of that <laughs> water. But he said there's a, an island, church island down here. He said I might not be able to get there because of the high tide but I'm gonna go see. There's a man walking on it, I don't know whether I fancy doing it. Let's go and have a look. I think I'm probably being a bit silly doing this. Nope, I've come back, but I just certainly not have the guts to walk along that little thin path. Oh, is he going? So that postman went and he's not come back. So I'm figuring it must lead somewhere unless he's fallen in. So this bit that I'm walking on is actually a wall. To the left of me is the Manai Strait that separates mainland Wales and Anglesey. And then to the right, that's normally a path that you can walk around but because the tide is so high, it's obviously gone over the wall. Problem, it turns into a proper wall. How do I get down? The only thing I can think of to do. Shoes and socks off. Oh my goodness, that's cold. Oh. Yes. Through. onto the island. This is Church Island. I think that actually I didn't have to walk along that funny horrible thing I just walked along. There's another entrance 
but then I had to take my shoes off again and walk through the water to get onto Church Island on the path because that's all flooded as well. It's so fun. Oh my goodness, look at this, just in the 15 minutes I've been here, the tide has started to go, like when I first arrived, all of this was full of water, like I didn't even walk through this way, I had to walk through that way. And this little path, let's have a look. Oh, it's still got some water on, but oh my goodness, now I can walk through it, I was thinking I'm gonna take my shoes off again. I was just driving along this road and I had to stop and pull over. These are the views out to mainland Wales. Wow. It's so pretty, just driving along and just having the water all the time on that side. It's so nice. Oh, there's a spider on my window. Hang on, let's let him out. Don't want him to scare me whilst I'm driving. Come on, mister. He's gone. I'm quickly finding out the reality of doing this in an electric car. I did charge before at Tesco but I was passing a pod point here and I just thought I would plug in for a little bit. I'm gonna eat my lunch just sitting in the car whilst the car is charging. It's a pain. I just had the best time exploring this little town called Beaumaris. I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it. But yeah, Beaumaris. I just kind of stumbled across it and I parked up. I found this little lay-by. And I parked up and had a little wander down the pier. It was so windy, oh my goodness. But I had a little wander down the pier and along the coastline there. And then I had a little wander around the town. It was so cute. And there was toilets, some amazing public toilets that were like in pristine condition. So I nipped in to use the toilets because I'm discovering quickly that if I find public toilets, I go to public toilets. And then there was this castle. I have never seen a castle with water in its moat before. It was incredible. I've come over to Holy Island, which is kind of the north, western part of Anglesey and I have just pulled into a Tesco because I need the toilet again <laughs> I always need the toilet and I want to charge up my car again my tactic with charging the car is like little well not necessarily little and often but whenever there is one because I just like to have the car charged up my plan is maybe to get this on charge now and hopefully kind of leave it for like I don't know whether I have got three hours maximum Tesco is usually three hours maximum that I can stay so I'll say so I'm gonna get it on charge we'll see how long we can charge but I'm gonna go to the toilet charge the car see you in a bit I really didn't want to just sit in the car for a couple of hours whilst the car was charging so I figured I would just have a little wander see what was around and I had to walk through a little bit of like supermarket retail park bit and then all of a sudden I was by the coast there's some people out there. I don't know what they're doing. They're collecting something. But this is really unexpected. And what a lovely little evening walk before I go and try and find somewhere to sleep for the night. I think that this could be a potential spot to stay, you know, the night. Whilst I've been walking, I was just having a little look on park for night and on Google Maps, like just zooming in and then like looking at street view and stuff. Just seeing where I could park and I found a couple of places about a five minute drive away. But I mean honestly, that, I feel like that's the potential. I might not even bother driving down there, I might. It's gone dark. I didn't realise, because I'm in an, like a, a covered car park, I hadn't realised it had gone dark <laughs> outside. So I'm just going to drive to a different car park. There's loads of shops around here, like an Aldi and a Home Bargain and all different, like a big retail park. Drive to a different car park and sort out all my back sleeping stuff. I don't really want to do it where I'm going to be 
sleeping for the night just as an extra safety precaution. Right, I think I'm mostly set up. I have got a different setup than I had when I did my little experiment. Hopefully it works, otherwise I'm kind of screwed for the night. So I've just come to have a little look at that car park that I saw earlier that I thought would be good and it is empty and, I, and like you can park here. I may park here if I was in my van but to be honest in the car I don't feel that comfortable. It's a little bit too secluded and kind of on my own. I don't feel that safe. So I think I found a spot. It's kind of in a little lay-by. I'm pretty sure actually that out there might be the water. I can't see. What I am figuring out though in terms of finding a spot to park for the night, it's got to be somewhere where it makes sense for a car to be, I think. So like residentially type places are better. Like that car park then, I, it was just, there was no, why would a car be there overnight? And that just doesn't feel safe. And I guess that's important in terms of like trusting your gut. If it doesn't feel safe, don't park there. This feels good. There is actually a van parked up behind me that I assume they're staying in overnight as well. There's some houses over there. I think the water is there. I think this might be good. I'm gonna get in the back and get ready for bed. Right, I'm in bed. That took a while to get organized. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs>